Hey there, amazing learners. Welcome back to Reading Redner Centers, the coolest place to dive into the wonders of learning. Today, get ready for a roller coaster ride through the fantastic world of shapes and sizes as we unravel the mysteries of area and perimeter. Buckle up, because it's going to be a blast. What is area? Area is the amount of space that a flat shape fills. It's like measuring the size of a blanket that could cover your entire room. What is perimeter? Perimeter is the distance around a closed shape. It's like measuring the length of a ribbon that could perfectly go around your presence, touching every point along the way. The Magical Garden of Squares First on our journey are squares, those symmetrical wonders that can turn any ordinary space into a magical garden of knowledge. Imagine you have a beautiful garden filled with vibrant flowers. If you want to know how much space your flowers occupy, you need to determine the area of your garden. It's like measuring the size of a giant blanket that could cover your entire garden. Its unit of measurement is square units, which are like tiny squares that fit perfectly together without any gaps. We can measure area in square centimeters, cm squared, square meters, m squared, or square feet, feet squared, depending on the size of the shape we are measuring. To find the area of a square, you simply multiply the length of one side by itself. Let's say each side is 3 units long. The area is 3 times 3, which equals 9 square units. Think of it as the garden's magical power spreading across 9 units of space. Fencing the garden perimeter of a square. Now, let's imagine you want to fence your garden to keep the animals away. To determine the amount of fencing you need, you need to calculate the perimeter of your garden. To measure perimeter, we use linear units, such as centimeters, cm, meters, m, or feet, feet. Since a square has four equal sides, we can calculate its perimeter by multiplying the length of one side by four. Let's calculate the perimeter of a square with a side length of six centimeters. Perimeter equals 4 times side length perimeter is equal to 4 by 6 cm perimeter equals 24 cm. Therefore, the perimeter of the square is 24 cm. Or, 6 cm plus 6 cm plus 6 cm plus 6 cm equals 24 cm. Area, unveiling the rectangle's expanse. To determine the area of a rectangle, we need to measure its length and width. Length refers to the longer side of the rectangle, while width refers to the shorter side. Imagine you have a rectangular garden filled with vibrant flowers. To calculate the area of your garden, you would multiply the length by the width. For instance, if your garden has a length of 8 cm and a width of 4 cm, its area would be 8 cm times 4 cm equals 32 square cm. Perimeter, embracing the rectangle's boundary. To calculate the perimeter of a rectangle, we simply add up the lengths of all four sides. Since opposite sides of a rectangle are equal in length, we can simplify the formula to perimeter equals 2 length plus width. Let's put this into practice. If we have a rectangular playground with a length of 10 meters and a width of 5 meters, its perimeter would be perimeter equals 2, 10m plus 5m, perimeter is equal to 2 times 15m perimeter equals 30m. And there you have it, fabulous learners. We've embarked on a thrilling journey through the world of area and perimeter, exploring squares and rectangles. Learning is the best when we unravel the magic behind shapes and sizes. If you had a blast on this educational roller coaster, show us some love. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Reading Redness Centers. Hit that notification bell to stay in the loop for more mind blowing lessons. Until our next adventure, keep rocking the world of learning.